this is the sphenoid bone. And if you look at this thing, I hope that you think, how is it possible that that lovely, moth-like, super crazy, intricate, like, it would, you'd crush it if you, like, stepped on it on accident, bone. How? Really? Yeah, really. And I just spent a good amount of time trying to take apart rainbow marble, rainbow skull, so that you could see the sphenoid bone and, like, how it sits inside there. And then I was doing it, and I was like, dude, really? I mean, that's terrible. You can't see anything. So this is a nice view of the bone itself. As far as where it actually is, you can see it from the front view. It's right there. And that's a little bit of sphenoid as well. And then you can see it from the bottom view. Look at that. It's all that big purple bone. And, I mean, that's crazy. But your best place to actually see, there's some more sphenoid bone. Your best place to see, like, the mothy shape is in the color-coded version of uh, looking down on the inside of the base. And you can kind of get a sense of the fact that, yeah, that looks a little bit mothy. When you start looking at your skulls, you, it's one of the reasons why it's hard to do these lab walkthroughs because we just have these two-dimensional pictures. It's good to do them because it's good to prep for the lab this way, and it's what I would expect you to do anyway, but coming into the lab is, is the most important part. There are several holes in the sphenoid bone that we're going to look at, but the sphenoid bone has my favorite part in it. Okay, the glabella was one of my favorite parts, but now this part is my second favorite part. This might be my first favorite part. It's found in the sphenoid bone. It is below the hypothalamus, the infundibulum, reaches from the hypothalamus to a structure that sits inside this in your sphenoid bone. That's your cella tersica. Right here it is. It looks like a little saddle, and it's so crazy cool, and you can't even see it right here, but it's like this really, like I can stick my finger in there and be like, oh, I'm a pituitary gland. I do that all the time. That is a cool feature of the sphenoid bone. There's another feature of the sphenoid bone. If the pituitary is sitting in the cella tersica, what is passing just above the sphenoid bone? The optic chiasm and the optic nerves. And you, there actually are grooves called um, optic grooves that are where the optic nerve sits before it crosses above the uh, Cella tersica. So sphenoid bone is really cool. That's all I'm going to tell you about that, and let's go take a look at the ethmoid bone.